the value of good nutrition and good foods, the human body is designed to work like a machine when it is on top of its game and running correctly. Food, which is the fuel, goes in and gives the energy that is needed to keep the body running correctly. However, just like in a machine, if you are putting in the wrong kind of fuel, you do not get the right response out of it. You do not get the right speed, or the right strength. Use a low-grade fuel in your car and it might break down along the road. Eat a lot of low-grade foods and you might find your body doing the exact same thing to you. The difference between the human body and a machine is what happens when there is too much fuel being put in. If you overfill a machine, it may flood out or may even break down completely. However, if you eat too much, your body will simply take the excess and store it. There are two options for storage in the human body. Energy is converted to glycogen and stored for future use. If you do need the energy but cannot eat, the glycogen will be converted back to glucose to be used. The body can only handle so much glycogen at a time. If more food is eaten than what is needed, the excess will be sent to the fat cells to be stored as fat instead. This can happen if you have good food or bad food in the wrong amounts or if you eat too frequently throughout the day. The basis of good foods, good nutrition starts with the right kind of foods. The food pyramid is defined by the U.S. Department of Agriculture as a guideline for how each food group fits into a healthy diet. There are examples of the foods that you need to have which will include all of the foods, none are eliminated completely. There are many fad diets that have suggested that you should not eat certain foods, even the nutrients that are really necessary, but those rarely work and are not safe to use for the long term. The foods that you eat for the day should include proteins, complex carbohydrates, and fats. Many people are shocked to learn that they actually need to have fats in their diet but the right kind of fats. There are healthier fat options which can be used to cook within a variety of ways. Consider any food that is in its natural state to be healthier than processed foods or foods that have artificial colors or preservatives. Even foods that sound healthy and good can be a bad choice if you do not read the label carefully. Fresh, whole fruits are better than canned fruits or fruit juices. Fresh vegetables are better than canned, which may have way too much sodium and other added ingredients. Steam vegetables to preserve their nutrients but don't serve them swimming in butter or cheese sauces. There are a number of better choices in every food group you should know the top choices and the less than perfect choices and go from there. For instance, roasted, skinless, turkey breast is one of the best sources of protein, with other types of poultry second best. However, even in the turkey category, there are some exceptions. Do not assume you can just grab a roll of ground turkey and have good nutrition. You still need to read the label carefully many brands are not just ground turkey breast and may contain skin, fat, and dark meat which drives the fat content up higher. The higher the fat content, the higher the calorie count. Portion control Even with good foods, lean turkey breast is a good food but you still should not eat a full pound each meal. The body can only process a small amount of protein at a time in the first place, yet another reason that the typical Thanksgiving meal leaves you feeling exhausted and drained. The average human stomach can only hold a few ounces of foods at a time but is remarkably stretchy. If you eat more food than you really need, your stomach will accommodate it, however you may feel uncomfortable. Keep doing that often enough and your stomach will remain distended and stretched out of shape. You also run the risk of damaging your stomach, possibly leading to a life-threatening injury. When most people sit down to eat a meal, they have a beverage to enjoy with it but often forget to include the calories in that drink with their daily totals. Water is calorie-free but most others have calories as well as other nutrients. For instance, milk is a good source of protein, calcium, and a number of vitamins. However, whole milk has a fairly high calorie count and also has saturated fat. Defining what you need, before you know how much protein, carbohydrates, or fats that you need, you have to know how many calories you need each day. After you know this information, you can divide each into the right percentages. The typical, healthy diet should be 50 to 60 percent complex carbohydrates, 15 to 30 percent protein from both plant and animal sources, and 10 to 20 percent heart healthy fats. The American Heart Association's recommendation is to keep the protein count at 35 percent of daily calories or lower for safety. The daily calories that you need should be divided into each category. Everybody has a different need for calories based on their size and their activity level. The first number that you will find is the number of calories you need to keep your weight exactly at the level that it is at right now. If you want to lose weight, you decrease that number by around 500, keeping in mind that you will have to continually readjust as you go. Once you lose weight, you will have to drop the amount slightly. Protein and Protica, protein is a vital nutrient, used by the body in a number of functions from building muscle to regulating blood pressure. While it should be easy to get the right amount of protein in the average diet, it may be necessary at times to supplement. Protica makes a number of protein supplements that can be added to the healthy diet.